trying to get this flooring done so we can put the yurt up this weekend. We got the plywood on, and now we're putting the floorboards that we cut. We're putting those down. So we're not gonna have enough to cover the whole thing, but we're gonna put tile on some of the floor. Just trying to get it done just because we wanna we want our yurt to go up, so try to get it done today so that we can get the yurt up before it rains all next week. few weeks ago, by a few weeks I mean maybe two weeks ago, I got stung by a bee when I was over here trying to chop those trees down, these little, these guys, these little trees. So yesterday, I was back here working got stung by a wasp on the head, hence why this eye looks like this. It would actually be a lot worse, but I took a ton of Benadryl so I wouldn't have to use an EpiPen. So apparently, the wasp nest is in this wood pile um, somewhere. So we're gonna have to take care of that. I don't want to keep getting stung in the face. I was trying to chop those trees down and get them out of the way. I got stung by a bee in the side of the head, and I'm very allergic to bees. I was trying to chop that tree down, got dive bombed by a bee, got stung. We thought maybe the bees were in this wood pile out here. Lo and behold, I found the bees. I couldn't see them, and I was looking all through in here. By me. There it is. Bee nest. The wasp nest. And sure enough, that's where they came from, which would make sense that when I tried to chop down these trees and was chopping at it, that they would come out and attack me. Now we know where the bees are so we can get rid of them. I keep saying bees. Bees are lovely. Honeybees are amazing. Wasps, hornets, other stinging insects, not so much. So yeah, we'll get rid of these wasps. Maybe I'll look up exactly what kind they are. 